So the Prime Minister says Australians don't want another climate change election. Is he right? Why can't we just get on with it? Well, what we should be getting on with is reducing prices and talking of the next election, you'll have a plan from Peter Dutton and the Coalition, which is all about reducing your prices. Now, Anthony Albanese seems to want to have a fake fight about targets. Remember that a Labor Greens government will bring you targets, will bring you no credible plan to get to 2050. Those targets won't make sense and they will be all about keeping people at international conferences happy, but not actually looking after Australian households and businesses. And this is the critical thing, Kenny, because I'm here in Griffith in the Riverina and hello to all our regional viewers of Sky across rural and regional areas. But there is so much activity here, but there is so much dependence on having reliable, safe, affordable, cheap energy. It's not happening under this government. So what? we want to bring the focus back to cost of living. OK, why can't you release any details about the Coalition's climate plans until after the election? Why the secrecy? It's not secrecy. We've committed to net zero by 2050 and we've committed to the Paris Agreement. Now, the parties under that agreement, the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, are in fact governments, not oppositions. So it's honest and sensible to say we will wait until we are in a position to actually evaluate what is the effect on Australia, on Australian businesses, while we stay within the Paris Agreement. So. Um, the Greens pushing Labor across this country to have deals that actually are, as I said, notional targets. What does that mean to the household that's struggling to put food on the table, that can't afford the cost of sending their children to school, that is worried about the viability of right. their small business okay. that well, their house you is mortgaged You mentioned businesses, on. I mean, it but is the, just the, so out of can touch, I just say, Kenny? Susan, that the Energy Users Association says business needs certainty of a bipartisan approach to invest in low emissions technologies. Are you putting that confidence at risk? The certainty of remaining in the Paris Agreement and the certainty of a credible pathway to net zero by 2050 should reassure everyone. Current projections, though, have us just one percentage point away from reaching the 43% emissions reduction target mm -hmm. by 2030. So why risk all, all of that? and our international standing, particularly with Pacific nations, over 1%. That's a conversation about targets. That's not a conversation about what it costs for Australian businesses to stay in business and to do business. Now, the government can work out the numbers and go to international conferences, and yes, they're important, but I'm not hearing anything from them that brings the focus back to Australian families and businesses. I just haven't heard anything from the Prime Minister along those lines. And I'm bewildered because I thought that he was a Prime Minister that wouldn't leave people behind. And I thought the last budget was about helping people with sustainable cost of living pressures that we know they're all under. So uh, let's get the focus back to basics where it needs to be. OK, the Premier of China, Li Qiang, is visiting Australia from Saturday. What's the key message you would like Australia and the, our government to express to China while he is here? We wish the visit well, we wish the Premier well, and I know there'll be important conversations about regional trade and commodities that once again matter a great deal to regional Australia, beef, lobster, wine, and so on. But I've seen a lot of focus on pandas, Kenny, and we love our giant pandas in the Adelaide Zoo, and they're very important uh, members of the zoo, but all this focus on pandas suggests to me that there's almost a test of whether the visit is a success by virtue of of the panda diplomacy. Uh, our Chinese diaspora is wonderful and varied as and has committed to the rich fabric of this country and I hope there's a focus on them. But pandas are not a test of this relationship and what I want to see is a focus on ADF personnel, not pandas, and a commitment from the Chinese Premier that there won't be any more incidents that either threaten or injure our ADF personnel. Susan Lee, we will not be talking down pandas on this show. No, just kidding. <laughs> Thanks. Good. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. We're out of time. <laughs>